This is a national beehive that comes flat packed. We have a brew box, two supers, crown board, got the roof, metal runners, queen excluder, row mesh, base, empty board, pins. Quick example of how one's put together. They're not too, too hard really. They look like a lot of bits and bobs. Let's start off with the base first. We've got two grooves, one's for the row mesh and one's for the board. It's easier if you just get the row mesh and start that one off. Get it running in there. Like that, get the board. The board just slides next to it. That, if you can just get the two to line up, nice and flush, it's easier to push in. And there's the base, so it's nice and flush. And there's the base. I'll just put that there. We've got the entrance block, we've got a small entrance here. If you want to close it down when there's wasps about or, or over winter, and then Obviously for the summer, when we've got the honey flow, we've got the large entrance block there. Just put it back. That, on the front. The next thing we're going to want is the brew box. The brew box. So we want the largest pieces of timber there are in the box. It's got grooves in, there's two of these. If they're numbered, they have number 12 in them. So there's one, and there's the other one. We're going to want two, the next size timber. Again, these are, the second largest and numbered, they're numbered 11. You're going to want two of those. And then you're going to want four sticks. Now, the top two sticks are going to be your number 13s. And then you're going to want 14s. Packs often come with spare sticks. And a spare stick look like this. Very similar to this one. But there is a slight difference. The one we're going to use is fat here, and this one's thin here. Okay, so we're going to use the fat sticks. I'm going to put this one side. This box I've just opened up now has got six spare sticks. I want the fat one, two of these, number 14s. Get number 12, get your 14, and just push it in, and it should be flush, like that. And we've got a groove on the inside. Get number 13 for the top. Major 13. They're quite flush fitting, but you can see this was a little bit loose. So I'm just going to put a tack in there. There are different sizes in here. I'm going to put one in there just to hold that in. And I might put one in the other side here as well. Look nice and flush. Do the same on the other side. You can't go wrong. If you get it wrong, you can see that you're not in line. You can see it's not flush. So it's telling me that that's the right way, it's going to be flush there. So I've got the 13 here, 13 opposite. So that's going to go in like that. So the 14 should go here. And there we go. So if we get our next number 12, again, the groove on the inside. Should be nice and closed like that. We could put tacks in, more tacks around here to hold it together. We're going to want our number 11s now. There's two of these, and they're going to slide in those grooves here. We want to slide them all the way down to the bottom, and now we need to just tap it together to close all the gaps up. Again, we can now put four tacks in. If we want to, we just need to just square it up, just to hold it firm. Once we've done that, we can also put on metal runners. They just go on the inside like that. The tacks, if you want to tack them in, and just put them in. So that's our brew box, which we can put onto our base. Just make sure it's nicely squared up. If we're just going to use the brew box and not any supers, 
we could just put the crown board on top and put our lid on top of that and that'll be okay to hold some bees. But what we're going to do is we're going to put a super on top. So the super is exactly the same as the brew box but with different parts in terms of the larger section. The sticks are the same. So we've got a number to be number 16. This is a 16, it's got the groove on the inside. It's a smaller. You're going to want two of those. And the smallest boards of all, you're going to want two 15s. Your sticks, so we've got two 13s. And again, we've got two 14s, which are fat. If you have any problems with these, again, there will be spares. So we get a 16, and we just grab a 13, and just see where we can fit it on the top. We need to have the groove on the inside. I can see it won't go there because it's not flush, so I know that's going to be the wrong way round. If I turn it round, I can now see it's flush, so that'll be the right way round. The grooves on the inside. Perfect. Nice and flush. Got the 14. Again, you'll see if it's flush or not. Do the same on the other side. And the 14. And then we get our next 16 again, groove on the inside. So there's our box. We need to put our number 15s in there. Slide them in. All the way down to the base. As mentioned earlier, we've got plenty of pins, so we could pin it up now, make it a bit more sturdy. Another two metal runners, which we can pin into there if we want to. Queen excluder. So we're going to put our queen excluder on top of our blue box. Then we're going to get our super, put the super on top. I haven't nailed this one together yet to bring it nice and close. Just a demonstration on how it's put together. We would then, if you want to, put another super on top. Just put your frames in there. And then you've got another super. So we'd put this one together, this super, exactly the same as we would do this one. No different. You've got two 13s, two fat 14s, two 16s, two 15s, and this one can go on top of that one. Once you've got your supers built, it's your crown board on top, and then you get your lid. These are quite good lids, these are. Everything here is solid wood. There's no MDF involved in any of this. And these aren't Chinese made neither. So this is all solid wood. We've got some air vents here with mesh over there. It's a galvanized lid. It's a deep lid to keep the water off. And it's got some nice weight to it as well. I dropped this one, so I caught the corner there. I, as I was walking down, I dropped it. So it's got the weight to it as well, so the wind won't blow it off. I don't know if you've seen the background, there are some Langstroths over there. I do have to put rocks on them because the wind's blown them off, but these ones, they're quite good. So what I'll do, I'll just put this on. Good then we're doing it on a level base really. and that would be your hive. So what I've got left over here is, I've got two runners for my neck super, that can go on top of here. I've got my sticks, and I've got my pins. I should have turned this around so you don't see where I dropped it. That's your national hive. If you want one of these, what I'll do, I'll put a, a link in the description below, so the link should take you to um, we've got eBay, we've also got the website. The website will be cheaper than eBay after 
eBay fees. Um, and that's it, that's your National Hive. <laughs>